Well, hey guys, welcome back to the Bass Piper channel. It's been a few weeks since I've been able to get on here and uh, make another video. And so uh, today's going to be a little different. I'm going to combine a couple of pipes as I'm continuing my pipe series. I got this video and the next video, I think I'll wrap it up. Uh, the last video, I'm going to be showing you my uh, Missouri Meerschaum corn cob pipes. But uh, in this video, I've got three stragglers <laughs> that I call my stragglers. I got onesies of uh, three different pipes. But I'm also going to do something else different as well. I'm going to be doing a VR for Johnny Onion. You all know him as 2, a 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. And this past weekend, Johnny uh, was putting out some feelers about wanting to get a, uh, a good lighter for cigars. Now, Johnny's like I am. He probably smokes cigars on occasion. We're not avid cigar uh, smokers, and uh, I'm not even an avid pipe smoker. But uh, I do enjoy them from time to time, and, uh, and I'm definitely no cigar aficionado on things, at least not yet. But uh, I, uh, I do have some uh, lighters that I want to show Johnny and some of you all if you're interested in it. And uh, but we'll get there in just a minute. But uh, so this will be kind of a, a pipe series slash a VR to uh, Onion 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Okay, we're just going to kind of mix it up a little bit today. Um, the first one that I want to show you, the first pipe that I want to show you is a Falwin, or some of y'all call it Valen. Uh, V-A-U-E-N. It's a German pipe. Uh, now, they will tell you to leave the V off and put the F on it for Falwin. I've heard it called all kinds of things. But anyway, it's this pipe right here, guys. Nice little Ben Apple. Got a pretty grain on it, and it is a nine millimeter. It's got a pretty little piece right here, the band uh, out of wood, and going into the stem. Of course, I've got I've got some vinyl on this. Some of y'all have asked about my softy bits. I've also you can go to Home Depot or either Lowe's and get you some food grain vinyl tubing. And that works good too. Now, the only trick to that is, is you gotta boil you some water and put that tube in a pot. <laughs> or either cut you some pieces and drop them in there and pick them up with some of the uh, tongs. I, I get that confused sometimes. My wife gets on me. I call them thongs. She said, no, that's a totally different ball game. So, uh, but you get you some tongs, guys. And take it, but you got to get these things, this vinyl, when it's real mushy and plastic, and you got to get those things on your stem pretty quick because once they get on, it's like, shoop, it, it, it grips. So, um, but you can use these. I got, I think the idea I got off of this was uh, John the Bearded Welshman, I think, was one that got me onto these, and there was somebody else, and I can't remember. But, um, this uh, this pipe is a nice pipe for a nine mil. It's a it's kind of a bigger boy. You can see the you can see the bowl right there. It, it's it but it's a pretty pipe. I got one. I've enjoyed it, and so that's my Falwin or Valwin, however you want to pronounce it, uh, that I got. Let me show you another one I got. Now this one's a rat trace. And this is my, uh, I call it my barrel pipe. I forgot the name they call it, and I didn't look it up before I started the video, but this is a reverse calabash pipe, and I got this at the Richmond Pipe Show uh, several years ago, but it looks just like a barrel. It comes in the brown. I think they have a black, and they have another color, maybe like a natural. I can't remember. I think there were three colors. I got it just because it was cool, you know, definitely a, a nose warmer type, but it's a reverse calabash in here, that cools the smoke. Those of y'all that, you know, have had reverse calabashes, you know what I'm talking about. 
So you can you can drop a little bit of tobacco in there. The hole is not really. I know it looks probably looks a little bigger on video, but it's not that big. Um, that you can stack up your tobacco. But uh, I thought that was just a neat pipe. And uh, at a pipe show, and Bass Piper said, "Look, I think I'll try one of these." And the cool thing is, they gave me a free tamper with it, about a $50 tamper when I bought the pipe. Those guys are great. In fact, I got this one with um, um, not smoking pipes, but tobacco pipes um, out in Florida. And um, they did a good job. I and mean, they were super people to deal with. And so this is my little barrel pipe. Let me show it to you again so you can kind of see it. But that's, a, that's a cool little pipe, little brass a little copper brass um, ring on it. And there's the logo. The last pipe I got I want to show you is a Milani, or Milana. Uh, I got this at a local in Williamsburg. Uh, we have a cigar shop that's called uh, Havana Connections. They about they have about six or seven stores. Most of them are in the Richmond and Short Pump area. And uh, they have one in Williamsburg. And I happened to be going somewhere, coming back by there. I wanted to stop and see what kind of pipes they had. First time I'd ever been in Savannah Connections. This was probably 2018. And I found this little pipe hanging up on the wall. And this is a Milana. Or Milani, what some people want to call it. M O L I N A. This is no no filter. But it's a cute little Ben Apple. And um, the thing about this particular cigar uh, store, they don't do a lot with pipes. They have some, but nothing major. Which a lot of cigar stores um, don't. They you know, uh, I, I found out a long time ago that a lot of your pipe tobacconist stores are more friendly to cigars than the cigar stores are to pipes. So they didn't have a lot, but I went, this was up on one of the, had one of the little fishing hook things, you know, the little little rubber hooks, it was up on the wall. So I pulled it down and some matter like this. It's when I first got, got going back into pipes. This was one of my first few pipes that I bought, but this is a Milano. Got my rat tray and then my foul one. Okay, so these are my three eyeballs. I call them eyeballs because I don't have really a collection. I could have put my stand well with that as well. If you remember, I added my stand well into the, uh, I think it was the OMS series, uh, just because it was by itself. I didn't think I could have put it in with these. I'm going to lay these down. So hold on a minute, guys. I got to get out of the frame. I lay these down on my table. No. Oh. All right. Now, <clears throat> And that takes care of the pipes for this particular video. Uh, now I'm going to get into some lighters. I got six cigar lighters I want to show you. And uh, I'm going to show you, probably after I do the pipe series, I might come back with another vid video and show you my pipe lighters. Um, most everybody knows with cigars. I've been in cigars now for since last August. So, uh, well, let me see. This is 24... August of 22. So August of 23, so I'm a little over, probably about 18 months now that I've been playing with cigars. And uh, so I'm not a pro or a champ by no means, but uh, I have learned a little bit about some things and that's through trial and error. Sometimes that's the best training, the school of hard knocks, right? Uh, oh, and by the way, Johnny, before I start with this for you, buddy, I know you saw my comment, comment, but I don't know how many others didn't see it. I'm glad to see you got a rocking chair, buddy. I'm glad to see that Bass Piper is not the only one that likes to rock. <laughs> Some of my subscribers have called them, called me out on that. Bass Piper, you're making me dizzy. I'm getting vertigo. I'm getting there. <laughs> When I saw you in that rock, hey, and I like the new platform, man, in your garage. So that's pretty cool. Uh, not that your others wouldn't, buddy, but uh, the rocking chair, you look like your beard's growing out more, man. You got got your, got your bibs on. Nah, hey, there you go, boy. You're, you're in there now. 
But uh, anyway, Johnny, uh, I'm going to show you some lighters. Uh, I'm going to show you first the Vertigo I was telling you about in the comments so you would know what it looks like. You can buy them most any place. I, most of my lighters I got off of Amazon. You can probably get this one right off of Amazon. Um, or I got them from... Um, uh, some of the, some of the, uh, couple of cigar shops that I was in, I may have picked up one or two and, oh, wait a minute. I got one more. Hold on guys. I just remembered. Let me get you out of the frame. I got to go to the cigar lounge to get it. Hold on. All right. Now, let me get my junk back to where it was, if I can if I can do that. All right. I forgot the granddaddy of them all. This right here, Johnny, is the vertigo that I was telling you about right there. That's what you want. Let me, I'll tell you why you want it. You can buy some others, but I'll tell you why you like why I like this. It's got a big tank on it. Can you see where the where the where the fuel is? This thing, man, I've loved it since I got it. It's fourteen dollars and seven uh, ninety five cent, and hopefully this will light in my video. It's a three frank three flame. Okay. On the back, it's got a big. See that little hole right there is where you fill it up, and then. You can see, if I can get it to focus, you can see the plus and minus sign, the arrows. Got a big wheel on it where you can turn it easy, easy peasy, man. This thing will hold you for a good 20 cigars, you know, or more, probably. Depending on how much you may have to, what conditions you're in, you have to relight it. But uh, I've loved this thing since I've had it, and it's not expensive. So that's the Vertigo. Look for one of those. And I gave you the rest of the name on it. I can't remember what it was. Something the Vertigo. I think it was Vertigo Cyclone 2. Uh, I think it's a Cyclone. That's what you want. I think you can get this in a, in a silver or a black or whatever you want. I like the clear so I can see the fuel. Okay. So that's the first one. Set this one down. These two right here, Johnny, I got off of Amazon. They come two to a pack. They're heavy. They're nice. I've got them in silver and I got it in the yellow. I think you can get other colors, but they look like this. Okay. Now let me just get one of them. Let me, let me put the silver one down. I'll show you the yellow one since it shows up a lot better. Okay. These are, I believe these are my single flame. Yeah. See that? It's the single flame. Uh, some of these are just about out of fuel, but you get the point. Okay, you got in the back, you got this one here, uh, has the little, has the little button, you got the hole in the center, but then you got to get you a little teeny little screwdriver, one of them little, uh, jeweler screwdrivers or something small to be able to turn the little piece for high and low. But both of these, I think, were maybe 20 bucks, if that. You get two of them. They're not, and they're single flame. Okay, I'll say something about that in a minute if I don't forget. Let me set these down. Another one that I got off of Amazon is this one right here. See the fuel in the bottom? That one's getting kind of low, but it's got a nice little window right there. Got your vents on the side. And this one I like is because I don't have, as soon as you hit the button... It flips up, and there you go. That's also a triple flame lighter. Okay? Now, you got to close it back. Okay? But this one automatically opens. I think this one was like 16 bucks, 17 bucks, somewhere in there. This one here even has a punch. To punch you a hole in your cigar. If you take this out somewhere and you forget your cutter, you can at least do a punch. And it's also got, though, the little hole, and you got to take, it's got some little markings on it that you can take a little screwdriver to do adjust your adjustment, you know. 
But for the money, they're heavy. Oh, and the other thing is you lay this down, Johnny. Cigar rest, buddy. Laying down. Use it as a cigar rest. Okay. Um, now, this one here is another one I got from Boswell. Rachel sent this to me when uh, I think it was... Uh, they did a. They just did their uh, thing with Drew Estates. I think this year, every every spring, they do a cigar event for about three days at Boswell's. Last year, I believe it was Audio Frente, and uh, Audio Frente had his, and they, I got one of her, her to send me one of these when I bought a couple of things, and I got a, a hat that I got. But I bought this also. I think I showcased this. This is a Boswell's. Okay, I don't know who makes it for them, but got a cigar rest on top. This one you flip up. This one is a three as well. Now this one, Johnny, in the back here, there's a little piece you grab, and you see that it flips up, a little handle, and this you can turn high and low. Okay? You still got the little hole right there that you fill up. But that's what that one looks like. Just got Boswell's emblem on it. They just put their logo on it. The other one I got, and I got this one off of Amazon. It's, it's a fan. Uh, well, I want to say Amazon. I think I got this one at a cigar company, a cigar store. Um, this one has its window right here. You see the liquid in there? This one is called a fan. You see how the let me get this. You see how this slot is here. If I get this to cooperate, I don't know if you how well you can see that. See how it fans out? It just gives you a totally different lighting experience, and. Um, this one here has a little has a little knob. If I, I'm not a good fan of white, am I? You can see right there, there's a knob you turn, and you got the hole in the middle. Okay? In fact, this one, if I can see it with my lighting. There you go. You can probably hear it. Got a little bit more juice on it. I had it turned down too low. Those are the six. And then when I was in Havana Connections one day, I said, you know what? Before I learned about the vertigo, I said, I heard about tabletop lighters. <laughs> so I was in there, and I know you said something about wanting to stay in about the $50 range, $60 range, whatever. Well, if you want to break in with another baby $20 more, Rocky Patel had one, and he's got them out there. He may have other ones out there now. But this is the tabletop one. So Rocky Patel, you can see the window here. I think you can see some of it. I don't know if you can or not. Well, I'm sorry. That's not the window. That's the vent. But it looks like in the picture, I thought it was. But this one right here, you fill up, and this thing here will hold you a good minute. Um... You flip up the top, and you got four flames. Okay. You got yourself a jet on this thing, man. Uh, if you can't light a cigar with this one, go ahead and put the cigars down, walk away, forget it. This, <laughs> But uh, what I understand, this one, you can get it in different colors as well. This is going to run you around 70 bucks. Um, if I can get it in the screen here. The only thing that I was disappointed in is that now with this one here, Johnny, this one comes with its punch. And inside it has a little has a little thing you gotta get in there with a screwdriver. I uh, you would have thought for 70 bucks Rocky could have done a little bit better and had a nice turn handle on that one and a window. There's no fuel window in this one. But I guess he figured this one here, when you fill it up, it's going to last you a good while anyway. So, um, but that's a Rocky Patel. And um, 
This one sits out on my table out in the cigar thing. In fact, I've, I've only used this maybe once or twice because I don't smoke in the house. Uh, and now I've got all my little guys that go out in the garage with me. But if I ever get in trouble, I know I got my, I got my big boy right here. Okay, I'm going to get out of the frame here for a minute. But anyway, that I hope helps um, Johnny and anybody else that's interested in uh, cigars or cigar lighters. You can get them in one flame, two flame, three flame, four. I think it was up to five flames with some of them because they have the four, then they have one in the middle. But what I found out is, and what I have learned, the rule of thumb is, and some of you guys that are more versed in it than than me cigar tim if you happen to see this video put your input in buddy uh or anybody else my understanding is the bigger the gauge or you know the ring size of the cigar uh would probably dictate how many flames you want if you got a small lonsdale or some kind of just a small you know sick gauge ring a one a one would do fine in fact, I've seen them use ones on 60 gauges. Um, but the more you go up, if you're more into the Robustos like I am, or the Toros, occasional Gordo, you know, Gordo, uh, 6x60, something like that, but mainly Robustos, then a 2 or 3, I've even used the ones on it. The one, the one is cool because you can kind of dial in. You know, if you want to dial in around the around the wrapper, you know, whatever, where the other ones are going to give you more flames going into it, of course. Um, but normally, if you go at least, I would say at least, if you get into it any of any length, Johnny, a three flame is fine. You can light anything you want with it, man. And if, if you got anything else, maybe a single flame, uh, you know, if you want just something to do more precision work with while you're lighting. Uh, now, you can take matches, but we know how matches work. You know, that's great on the inside when there's no ceiling fans and no air movement. You can do pretty good with uh, lighting your cigar with a, uh, and even with a soft flame pipe lighter. You just can't be in the weather. You can't be in the wind. You know, uh, same thing with using a big lighter. You can light it with that if you want. But the torch lighters are the way to go inside or outside. Just be done with it and get you a nice lighter. Um, the only thing else I could say to this is that sometimes they will gum up on you, uh, either through keeping it too close. And of course, you know, when you light them, you only, you do not want, you do not want the, the, uh, You see where that part's coming off the top? It's moving around. That's what you want on your cigar. You don't want the bright lights down at the bottom. You want to toast it. You don't want to roast it. Okay. And so um, that's kind of uh, what you got to look for is just get that, that line that comes out of the main jets. Just get that fine line around that cigar and just keep rolling. It, it, I've still learned how to rotate that thing, man. Get it all kind of, usually I just hold it still and just go around with my lighter. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, I hope this helps Johnny uh, a little bit on your lighter search. You can buy them. You don't have to bust the bank, man, to get them. In fact, with a Vertigo, if you got the money, pick you up two of them. It'll hold you for a good while. Have a backup in case the other one just goes out on you. But some of them will gum up. And what I've found, I found two ways to try to help that. And if it don't help it, trash it and buy you a new one because you're not paying that much for them. But a lot of times if gunk gets in there, either tobacco or just dirt or weather in those jets and you might, you got three, only two light up or whatever. A lot of times if you get yourself a, a, uh, uh, a toothpick or something real fine, like a fine wire or something, just go in the holes. Be careful. Just go in the holes and see if there's any crud in there. Take you a can of air and blow it out. A lot of people recommend that as well. I mean, there's different things. Um, but try to get the jet unclogged, you know. Now, I'm sure there's a way to do them, and you can probably take them apart, but I don't know how to do that. 
But uh, anyway, uh, I hope that helps you a little bit with what knowledge I have come about uh, in my cigar journey. And uh, I mean, I've got enough lighters. I don't need them. I got enough pipe lighters. I don't need them. The soft flame would be cool. But like I said, even with my ceiling fans and everything, uh, even out in the garage, you got to be careful because any kind of wind cross, you know, you're fighting the flame going all over the place. So it's best just to get you, uh, you know, a $15, $20 torch lighter and have at it. But get the tank. Get the bigger tanks. The other ones are fine. They just don't last as long because you got, and always remember, the more flames, the more jet fuel, as I say, you're using, the more butane, it's burning it up faster because you got more jets. So uh, that single jet's going to last you a lot longer than a three and four flame jet lighter. Okay. That's why you want one of these vertigos with a three flame. Give find you the biggest tank you can find on it and have at it. It'll last you a good long time. All right. It's been 25 minutes. I'm going to get on off of here. So guys, have a great day. Have a great week. Subscribers, thank you so much for those that have been subscribing. I'm definitely going to get a, um, a, sh a, sh a shout out. I'm going to get it out there in a minute. Uh, to you guys, thank you so much for all my new subscribers and support. And uh, we hope to see you again. But until then, relax. Have your pipe. I got to get a pipe. Have your pipe. Or your stogie. And don't forget the many blessings God gives us each and every day. You guys take care. Have a great week. Bye-bye.